I'm Howard Rodman, and this is Trailers from Hell. Today's trailer is Touch of Evil, arguably the greatest movie ever made, and I would be among those people making that argument. It has Orson Welles as a bloated, corrupt border town sheriff. It has Charlton Heston as an honest Mexican cop. It has Janet Lee as his very hapless new bride. It has Marlena Dietrich as the proprietrix of a bordello. It has Akim Tamaroff as Uncle Joe Grandi, the Mexican mobster. It has Mercedes McCambridge as a teenage hood. It has Dennis Weaver as a very frightened motel night clerk. It has everything you would ever want in a movie, all in one movie. And here it is. Back in the days before DVDs, there was only repertory cinema. So if you loved a movie, the only way you could see it again and again and again was to memorize it. Uh, it was a little bit like Fahrenheit 451, where people became books, people I knew became movies. And because we loved Touch of Evil so much, the only thing we could do was to put that movie inside our heads. And we did. But what I think remains is that Touch of Evil was one of those movies that is so dense and so perfect that every time you talk about it, every time you see it, every time you think about it, something new comes out. Based on the novel Badge of Evil by Whit Masterson. Who is Whit Masterson? Well, Whit Masterson was a lot of people. Whit Masterson was also Wade Miller. Who's Wade Miller? Well, Wade Miller was a Fawcett gold medal paperback original pulp author uh, of such things as Kitten with a Whip one of my personal favorites and also oh, a kind of cool movie. The climax of the movie, which I think is as good as the end of any Orson Welles movie ever, has to do with Charlton Heston tracking a bugged Orson Welles with a kind of primitive radio. I mean, if you can imagine a very, very, very low-tech Anthony Pelicano. And all of the flaws and moral feelings of everyone in the movie come to light in this sort of weird, staticky, echoey, doubled confessional. The town, the border town itself, was played by Venice, California. The arcades that you see in Touch of Evil, you can see this afternoon if you want to, just by taking Venice Boulevard all the way to the end. Sometimes when the light is right, when it falls on the side of a building in a right way, or sometimes at night when a car's headlights sweep across the columns of the arcades, you can see that border town again, taking you all the way back to the way it was in Touch of Evil.